Our next condition is hypokalemia, which is the condition of not having enough potassium in the blood. And in this case, we're looking at potassium levels of less than 3.5 milliequivalents per liter in the blood. And the panic level on that typically is less than 3.0. And this patient, again, feels pretty darn sick. They're tired, nauseous, and in terms of their breath sounds, they have decreased shallow breathing, quite often experience dyspnea. In terms of their heart, they have an irregular, weak, thready quality to the pulse, and they're at great risk for dig toxicity, which can be quite dangerous and requires monitoring. They have a lot of GI upset, feel very sick in the gut, and then through the intestines, there's a slowing, and quite often they may experience constipation. Their muscles are weak, and neurologically, they have decreased deep tendon reflexes. So you're going to be checking for that in the patella. The question becomes, what's the nurse to do? And actions include a priority with safety, making sure this patient who's weak is very safe, not getting out of bed, accurate intake and output, and monitoring fluid and electrolyte lab values. Diet sources of potassium are encouraged, including orange juice, banana, dark green vegetables. Any IV potassium will be given slowly, never pushed.